This is the evolution of the Australovenator. It started off as this thing over here. Of course, due to how its ribcage is shaped, it is super shrink-wrapped. It also has pronated wrists, which are hurting my soul. Its head is also quite uneven. Look at the jaw. Upper jaw, lower jaw. They don't align with each other if you um, do something like this. Actually, do they align? I don't think they would. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but probably not. You know, they are still kind of unaligned with each other, but at least the upper jaw is longer than the lower jaw, like the last one. And at least it doesn't have nearly enough shrink wrapping. It's also got a little bit of feathers, which is nice. So, as you can see here, this is definitely quite nice. Now the feathers have turned into quills. It's got a much bulkier neck. The upper jaw is longer than the lower jaw, which is good. There is also a bit of feathering over here, which is nice. And also stripes and all that. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below.